Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the Daily App Show. We're brought to you by GoDaddy.com and Invoke Creative. Today we're going to take a look at an application that's brought to you by a developer that's done other apps that I have really liked. It's called iDropDead. Now you can see the other applications that they've done are the Perfect Balance Inferno applications. As you, if you've seen those reviews, you know that I really enjoy the stuff that this developer comes out with. So the object of this game is slightly different. We are to create as much damage to our little puppet person as possible. So we could go and uh, hit settings, check out our settings here. We've got our quality, particle quality, handedness, sound effects, volume, hit back. We've got instructions, credits, Facebook status update, all that stuff. Let's just go in and play. So we're going to do normal. Now this is hard here. This game is actually really hard. There's a certain amount of damage that you need to cause before you can move on to the next level. So let's go to classic and play classic. Start on level number one. So I could two finger zoom, I could do whatever, but I only have one pull or one touch to fling my little character in some certain direction and cause as much damage as possible. So I could zoom in or zoom out and then I gotta bang my little character and he's gotta go and just get as much damage as possible. You can see my score accumulating here. You can see my best score, which is much better than what I've already done. So after this, after he falls to his death and is no longer moving, uh, you can kind of zoom in and see exactly what he's doing here. But um, chances are things may move around a little bit. Uh, they don't react to the phone, but you're probably not going to get much higher of a score. So I'm going to go ahead and just read play here and fling him around again. See if I can't get more damage than before. And we're done. Not bad. There we go, I beat my last score. Not by much, but I did beat it. So get a bigger total score to unlock more pulls. So I need to get more, a bigger score. We've got some other information here. I could do automatic slow motion. I could choose a character if I had more. I could choose a blood color. These are things that unlock additional features that unlock too as you uh, as you create a higher score. I found that falling this way doesn't really get you as high of a score as the other way. I've yet to actually have him hit that wheel. Maybe let's try that. Nope, he missed. nice. So this is kind of a fun game. It's very challenging uh, to try and get a higher score. I mean, I I think that I've kind of maxed out my ability there. Um, I mean, gosh, look how close I got, but I still didn't beat my previous score. So, I don't know. It's fun. It's a challenging game, just causing damage to your little character here. Obviously, I'm not doing as good as I could be doing because I have not advanced yet, but... Uh, this game's a lot of fun. So um, now I can see my target score there. The ad additional things that I get for um, his head coming off and and the goals and all that stuff. Uh, I need to achieve a complete dismemberment so that I can uh, move on to the next level. Um, so you can see the next world opens. I am pretty far from reaching that. So I have a lot of practice. I may not even be doing it the best way possible, but that's okay. Um, looks like there are additional things that I could possibly reach here. Let's turn that off. Try him again. Lost his head, lost a leg, arms are still attached, so obviously, obviously I've got some practicing to do, but this game is a blast, and I think that you should really try it, give it a chance, and, uh, even try the other games that I mentioned earlier that are from this developer because they're a lot of fun. So until next time, this is Jared with the Daily App Show. Take care.